Good evening and thanks for joining us. New details being released in a domestic disturbance turned deadly. And now we must warn you, some of the details in this case are very graphic. It was in the early morning hours on Sunday that a couple was found dead inside their eastern Vigo County home. News 10's Lindsay Yates has been following this case for you and brings us the very latest in tonight's top story. A tragic series of events that took place here at 4025 North Creel Street in what appeared to be a murder suicide. Sources tell us that the couple was married on Saturday, less than 24 hours before both were found dead. 911, that is your emergency. Call me 4205 North Creel, please. What's the address? 4205 North Creel. Okay, what's going on there? Please, please. Who is please. my husband? What's please. his name? Scott Johnson. He's got The 9-1-1 recording depicts the events that unraveled inside this home in the early morning hours. It was around 1.20 a.m. on Sunday. Kelly Ecker Sampson dialed 9-1-1, frantically claiming that her husband threatened to kill her. Phone call went dead in a short amount of time. Dispatchers immediately uh, dispatched deputies to the scene. Minutes later, Kelly calls back. Oh. 911, what is the address of your emergency? 4205 North Creel. Okay, I 4205 North Creel. Oh my God. 4025 North Creel. Hello? Hello? Sheriff's deputies would arrive to find Kelly dead as a result of gunshot wounds to the chest and neck. Uh, deputies did find uh, the female victim inside the child's bedroom deceased. An elderly couple and Kelly's 10-year-old son were safely removed. The um, uh, female's husband, uh, Scott Sampson, had retreated uh, to the basement. With guns and multiple rounds of ammunition, that's when the special response team was called in. The uh, remote camera uh, was able to determine uh, that uh, Scott Sampson was in the basement unresponsive. Sampson died of a single gunshot wound to the head just hours after they exchanged wedding vows. Reception tent still in the front yard. Shortly after the last uh, guest left, um, things went terribly wrong. Dr. George Sampson is listed as an anesthesiologist at Union Hospital. News 10 reached out to the hospital and they have declined to comment. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you more information as it becomes available. Reporting in Vigo County, I'm Lindsay Yates, News 10. The Sheriff's Office is currently taking inventory of Sampson's guns collection. He is registered as a federal licensed dealer.